Greetings, everyone. Glad to have you here with us on this Wednesday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. With David Aldridge on our sideline, and here with me, Greg Anthony and Steve Smith, this is Kevin Harlan. We've got the Boston Celtics taking on the Los Angeles Lakers. Tip-off goes to the Lakers. And so it's West with it. He brings it up for Los Angeles. And now the opening lineup for Boston. They've got Jones. Sanders is out there with Heinsohn. Then it's Jones. And it's Russell in at the five, patrolling the paint. Now here's Goodrich. Wilt rises up. Wilt Chamberlain battling inside. Gets the second chance bucket to go. And I'll tell you, the combination of agility, wingspan, and stamina, very difficult to keep Wilt from scoring off those misses. Jones kicks to Jones. Over Goodrich. Snatched down by Chamberlain. And this is one of those times where the coach has got to preach, be unselfish. And we don't know that he hasn't. Maybe it's been falling on deaf ears. Guys taking ill-advised jump shots. Here's Heinsohn. We're about one minute into the first. Poked away. And Jones has it in the corner. Shot clock at six. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Russell. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24 second violation. There's a minute 47 left in the first quarter. West against Jones. It's stolen by Jones. The pass to Heinsohn. Back to Jones. And Jones now atop the key. Baylor against Sanders. Over Baylor. Sanders' shot is off. And here's the Lakers. Erickson passes to West. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Back to Baylor. With some arc. Offensive rebound. Feeds it to Chamberlain. Back to Baylor. And there it is for him. And what's unique about Baylor, he can score from a variety of angles and really good off of either shoulder. Just great extension and body control. Lakers shooting their first foul shot of the night. McMillan's checked in for the Lakers. McCarter comes in for Goodrich. The Celtics also changing it up. Thompson, he's checked in for Sanders. Havlicek comes in for Heinsohn. And Siegfried subbed in for Jones. What's up? And, you know, beyond all the things Baylor gives you, he's an entertainer out on the floor. The acrobatics we see, something spectacular from this guy almost every game. And the Lakers making a change here. Robertson, he's checked in. Rick Robertson. There's 53 seconds left in the first. Knocked loose, and that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. On the wing, Jones. Six to shoot. Siegfried, the pass to Havlicek to stop the drought. A rebound by the Lakers. Chamberlain got rebound number five here tonight. Now here's West. He's guarded close. Inside. Chamberlain. Rebound Boston. And I'll tell you, the sooner this quarter can end, the happier he'll be. It's been tough making shots. 
Jones, no luck. Here's McCarter. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Lakers lead by five. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And taking a look at the Lakers' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing in the game? A huge fan of how they have rotated here defensively, been able to challenge multiple shots. Yeah, it's been the defense that has them out in front. But let's see if they can sustain the intensity. On the court for the Celtics, second quarter underway. We've got Thompson. Jones is out there with Siegfried. Then there's Havlicek, and it's Counts in at the center. The open mid-range jump shot. He knows he has to hit that one. Jones looking for an opening. Passes to Counts. Havlicek outside. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. And the Celtics with possession here. Outside, Jones. Shot clock at five. Counts, passes to Havlicek. Here's Jones. Chamberlain with the rebound. Lakers leading by five. Pass to McMillan. Wide open. Jimmy Mack knocking down off the catch. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. Outside, Jones. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Ooh, that has to be a relief. First bucket was a long time coming. You know, I think they might have tried too hard at the start of this game. Let's see if this settles them down. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. McCarter gets blocked. Havlicek outside. Jones, no luck. And so it's West with it. He brings it up for Los Angeles. Only given up two points this quarter. McCarter passes to West. Baseline jumper. Second chance shot. There's the steal. And now here comes Jones leading the break. Oh, and the dunk by Jones. And, guys, that's a big swing right there. I mean, taking the steal and then turning it into two easy points on the dunk. No telling how important that sequence could turn out to be. No doubt that could be a gigantic swing in momentum given how that sequence developed. West outside. And the Lakers with some changes. Baylor, he's checked in for Robertson. Erickson comes in for McCarty. And it's Goodrich in for West. The Celtics also changing it up. Sanders checked in for Thompson. Heinsohn comes in for Jones. And Jones subbed in for Siegfried. On defense, the Celtics. It's a three-point game. McMillan against Sanders. Six on the shot clock. Well, he has to be careful now. He doesn't want to pick up that third foul this early. Lakers shooting their second and third free throws tonight. The first one falls. And drafted out of the Ivy League, McMillan has a calm, confident demeanor, along with an excellent jump shot. Really helps this team. Boston making a switch here. Russell's checked in. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Knocks it loose and stolen by Goodrich. McMillan kicks to Goodrich. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Now Jones to the paint. Four seconds left, and the shot goes down. Havlicek's got his first basket of the night. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. And a close game. The 2K Sports Halftime Show.
Hello, everybody. Welcome to 2K Sports, the halftime show. Ernie John. A competitive matchup for the Lakers in the first quarter. They saw their lead grow to a high water mark of five in the period. The second quarter saw them lose just a fraction of the lead they held at the end of the first, as they're now ahead by two points at the half. And let's. And that's a wrap. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Boston trailing. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. So the Lakers five right now. West is out there with Goodrich. Then there's Chamberlain. Then it's Baylor. And it's Erickson in at the three slot. Oh, the lightning quickness, the cool demeanor. Just no one works harder at the game of basketball than, than Jones. He, he's always in shape and always ready to make a play. That one drops. He ties it up. West with the ball. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Pass to Goodrich. Taylor up top. He kicks to Chamberlain. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. But, but here's the problem. Now, no one's got the strength to move Wilt off his spot, and no one has the height to challenge the shot at its point of release. And the Celtics with possession here. Trailing by two. Russell trying to free himself up. And the basket by Jones. Jones has got six. And that's how you want to come out of the locker room. He is fired up. Yes, in the first minute or so, you knock down a couple shots. You are in rhythm. There's the pass to Goodrich. Lock at six. And Chamberlain powers it down. And that's just too easy. The size, strength, length. No way to stop Chamberlain once he gets the ball in that close. Jones kicks to Jones. Got a piece of it. Chamberlain with the block. And the quickness off the floor, the insane reach. Well, one of the greatest shot blockers you'll ever see. Jones against West. Here's Baylor. We've got 118 left to play in the third. West against Jones. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. An unforced error. I'm not sure what was he thinking. McCarter's checked in for West. Havlicek, he's checked in for the Celtics. Jones kicks to Havlicek. Nice ball movement by Boston. Here's Heinsohn. Guarded by Erickson. Heinsohn the pass to Russell. And they take the lead. Russell's got his second basket of the game. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. That's tipped. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. That can happen when the energy gets turned up, the stakes gets raised. Bad miscue. The Celtics making a switch here. Siegfried's checked in. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Jones kicks to Russell. Sanders inside. Baylor defending. Left side, Jones. The dish to Russell. Passes it to Sanders. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Sanders has got his first bucket of the night. And it looks like they left their defensive effort back in the locker room, guys. They just haven't had the same commitment here defensively in the second half. And here is Baylor. That's tipped. One second left. Can't connect. And we've reached the end of the third. 
Celtics lead by four. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money. Yeah, it's one thing to find the guy. It's another to deliver the ball where he can do something with it. Wonderful play. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. On the floor for Boston. Sanders is out there at counts. Then there's Havlicek. Then it's Russell. And it's Jones in at the one spot. Sanders with the steal. And Sanders throws it down. And that's the classic one-two punch right there. I mean, nice steal. And then how about the elevation, Kevin, on the finish? And, Greg, nothing spurs some quick offense like a great play defensively. When your defense translates into offense, it's a beautiful thing. Havlicek against McMillan. Down to five on the shot clock. Stolen by Havlicek. And up the court come the Celtics on the break. Here's Sanders. Chamberlain with the block. Here's Havlicek. Gets an open look and hits. And the Celtics lead by eight. One minute now into this fourth quarter. Time running out for the Lakers. McMillan passes to Goodrich. Right wing. Chamberlain goes up. Count the basket. He can be masterful in there, especially when there's no rim protection. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They're up by six. 143 left in the game. And the Lakers with some changes. Baylor comes in for Robertson. And West subs in for McMillan. And the Celtics also making a change. Jones has checked in. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, the head coach for Boston had some instruction for the guys during the timeout. He told them the lead we've got is good, but we can be better. Take it to them. Stay on the accelerator. Looks like he wants them to keep pushing it, guys. Just five to shoot. Goodrich against Jones. Takes the 13-footer, and it's Russell with the rebound. Russell's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Navlicek the pass to Sanders. 104 left here in the fourth quarter. Shot clock at six. Pass to Russell. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. And the Lakers call time here. They're trailing by six. 52 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Bill Russell. And his percentage from the field tonight seems almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. Heinzen's checked in for Havlicek. Takes the 13-footer. Here's Chamberlain. It's in! And now they trail by just four. Defensively, you cause the miss, but then you have to corral it. You know, there is nothing more frustrating than that. Giving up points on a possession, you won. There's 37 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they go to the intentional foul. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. And, guys, that's what KC gives you. You know, not always about the high field goal percentage or the monster games offensively, but night after night, this guy is just a flat-out winner. There's 31 seconds left to play in the final quarter. 
Sanders against Goodrich. Over Sanders. It's in! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. What a shot over the bigger defender. That could prove to be a massive bucket. That's coming up big in the clutch. Rising up and burying it. Good on the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And the second free throw, no good. A tough break there. And the Lakers call time here. They're trailing by four. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? I mean, tough position, but really, they, they can't blame anybody but themselves. They've certainly missed on some opportunities, but stranger things have happened. They need a quick shot and an immediate foul right here. And turnovers have been the issue for them. You can see the coaches have gotten into them a little bit about this. They've got to do a better job of taking care of the ball. And now they foul and stop the clock. Yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let them dribble the game out. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. And so he drops them both. It's a six-point ball game. Well, this is how you close out. Beautiful job. Pass to Erickson. Kicks it to Chamberlain. It's Goodrich on the wing. Misses the three. And he used the pump fake well there, but he couldn't capitalize. So we see Boston get the win here. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother them. I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team. Well said. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long.